And the first point on the agenda, so welcome everyone to the Streamzy community call on 20th April, 2023. And the first point on the agenda is question and issues. If anyone wants to raise anything what's not on the agenda, now is the time you can do it. If not, then we can move to the next item, which is PRs and issues. Uh, so I added one PR here. I actually see that we seem to have uh, Pat or Pat, sorry, I'm not sure how to pronounce it uh, correctly on the call. Uh, with I take whatever. <laughs> uh, so that's a PR which change the default security context settings for the cluster operator in the Helm chart. And what I wanted to discuss is, I think there are two things. One is that it actually changed the default values in a way which can break it for many users. So the question is if we want to do that, and if we want it actually, and that's the reason why the build failed, uh, is that the Helm chart is used to generate the installation files. So yeah, we would need to discuss if we want that to be there as well or, or not. So anyone has anything to that? As the author of the PR, uh, my inkling is just to, uh, I generally just take whatever the defaults are for the operator and customize my resources. And so having the operator have the most aggressively annoying defaults is sort of a happy path. But if that's not the way things go here, I can do it on my end. I just also am trying to be a good community member and contribute up. Yeah, I think if it would be, like if it was brand new Helm chart, I would kind of agree that having the more aggressive settings as default and have people change it would make sense. My concern really is that all the people for whom this might not work for their settings, when they just go in the next release and do Helm upgrade or whatever the Helm command is, it actually stops working for them and they will need to figure out the issue, possibly seek some help and so on. Yeah. Um... And if you increment the uh, breaking change uh, value, that would help folks notice, but then the uh, chart value was out of sync with the CRD commits. And I know that that's not always something projects are interested in doing. Yeah. Uh -huh. Anyone else has an opinion on this? Paolo? Uh, <clears throat> Well, I was not talking because, yeah, I think that backward compatibility is one of the main things that we should keep. So for me, yeah, it's not good to break what other other people have already working. So to be honest, I, I, I agree with you, Jakub. Is this perhaps something, something 
it should be held for a major release or something and then break deliberately with a major release. Just trying to think of a compromise. Yeah, I guess that would make sense. The question is, like for the good or bad, the past decision to do the 1.0 release. So like, we are not past 1.0 release. So I don't think it's as much as that we, like my concern is more about the number of users for whom it will break and the number of questions we will get and so on. I don't think with the 0. Point something version, you are necessarily not allowed to do these changes. And then the other thing is that for various reason, if you follow the decision that 1.0 version will be when Zookeeper is removed, then that's also quite far away. Well, we all, we all know that even if we are not on 1.0 release, so the 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 latest streams releases are uh, anyway stable. They are using in production by companies. So it was like the, the Kafka story, right? Where they were something like zero dot something, but anyway, Kafka was stable. So it's not about waiting one because it's really far. It's also true that uh, anyway, our API are uh, PETA. So we are allowed to break things, but again, I guess that companies are using that in production, so. Yeah, breaking things in the wild is definitely like, as the author of the PR, I'm in the no, don't break things in the wild camp. Um, so. So should we close the PR and instead open an issue that we should do it with the major release? That would be 100% fine with me. OK. Uh, uh, Want to open the issue yourself? Or, or if you want, I can do it as well. If I could have uh, you open it, because I'm likely not to circle back around to keep an eye on any of this for quite a while. And okay. so, yeah. Okay, good. Then, uh, yeah, let's put it into the meeting minutes. And I will go after the call and open the issue. I have one, one question about this. So why not going to with the baseline instead of restricted? Because the baseline is the default in Kubernetes, right? So it is, but I guess the question is, the operator itself doesn't need anything what's not available in the restricted. So the question is, yeah, why go for baseline when you can go for, like, why go for less secure if you can go for more secure? Uh, like, even if the, if the baseline profile is what the user is using, it won't necessarily hurt the operator to run with the restricted context as a more restricted because the operator itself doesn't need any of these, uh, any of the baseline features. So I would say it's having that as a default goes more with the kind of 
follow the least privilege rule. Okay, thanks. Okay, so I guess that's it for this PR. Uh, thanks anyway for raising it and for the effort you put into the PR. Does anyone have any other PRs to discuss today or? Okay, then next on the agenda are the proposals. So just a reminder, there are two proposals actively in the vote right now. And I think both are getting closer. One is the Kafka Notebooks proposal and the other one is the topic operator proposal. Uh, both are quite important for the future direction of Strimzy. So yeah, if anyone is interested and didn't do so yet, please uh, have a look. And I guess there are no other proposals to discuss, so we can jump to the issue triage. So, Let me zoom this a bit so that everyone can read it. So this is about the bug when the OAuth metrics are enabled together with cruise control, where the way the Kafka metric plugins work, it caused some conflict. So I think Marco is already planning to look at it as our OAuth expert. Uh, so uh, that's something we want to keep. Right. Yep. Yeah, it will only be a workaround until uh, we get that feature in Kafka. But yeah. Yeah. At least I uh, need to work around in the meantime. Let's add that there as well. Okay, so it's triage, and I guess we don't set any help wanted label as Marco will look at it. Okay, next one is about clarifying the documentation uh, about the pod disruption budget and their configuration, as there it seems some users are a bit confused that they configure max unavailable in the Kafka CR, but we actually have to use min available in the actual pod disruption budget. So again, I think Paul is already looking for that. So uh, I think we should keep this or
Yeah, I made a few notes from the chat we had about it yesterday, Jakob. I think um, yeah. I think I've identified what we might need to update. Yeah, I think that looks good. Okay. Thanks. So let me remove the needs triage label. Okay, the next one. It's about some more detailed configuration for the garbage collection logging. So how do we feel about this one? Well, I remember that uh, the, the GC logging is really verbose when you enable it, right? And we decided at some point to to go back from enabled by default to disabled by default. So if it's possible to, I don't know, configure some stuff to be logged, it would be a good thing, but uh, to be honest, not planned from our side. So if there is any contribution. Yeah, but this is a bit more complicated as it's not just about configuring the garbage collection but it's about making it to lock into a file and oh, to a file. Some sidecar yeah. to process yeah it. so i think we have already two issues opened one is to add support to basically allow users to mount custom volumes yeah this will be useful also for taking hip dumps sometimes i've found users needing to take hip dumps and there is no safe way to do that right so yeah there's one issue which is about mounting volumes to the pods and other one about sidecars both of them are were triaged in the past and are in the needs proposal state. So I think that in general are the main things which should be solved first. Yeah, I agree. So should we close this and refer this to the other two issues yeah I can't help but being mildly curious why JVM metrics aren't sufficient. I'm wondering what the gap is between the JVM metrics, which you get from Prometheus, and what the logging, the GC logging would, would give, would additionally give you. Uh, let me edit there as well after I link the other issues.
Like this, Keith, does it make sense? Yep, that covers it. Thanks, Jacob. Okay, maybe should we close it or maybe we should keep it in triage for next call if the author comes up back with the answer to Keith's point and maybe that comes up with some other ideas what can be done. Yep. So this seems more like a question than a bug because that seems to be the only report of this. And actually the log suggests that the reason why the rolling was not happening is because the topics were not all in sync. Should we convert this to a discussion question? Fine with me. So the next one is about adding the Grafana dashboards to the Helm chart. Uh, oh, that's actually from you as well, Pat. Uh, yep. Yeah. Um, I can do the Helm stuff. I don't understand how the various things are built. Um, Grafana has the ability to do native imports of dashboards and you have dashboards. So we could put the two together and make it a, a slightly friendlier experience for people who are interested in using them. So do we want to proceed with this? 
uh, anyone's an opinion from the maintainers or others? I don't see why not. Just one question. Um, so I am not a an chart user, to be honest. But uh, so is that related to a specific version of the of Helm in order to to this working? Uh, any uh, it actually comes out of the Grafana chart and. Any reasonably modern Grafana chart, uh, it will just do the right thing. Uh, something like any Grafana chart in like the last three years should just work. Okay. And I'd set it to off by default so that only folks who actually want the charts or want the dashboards get them because people who aren't using it don't need extra config maps. So yeah, I, I, I think that that could be useful. So So like this. Yep. And uh, I'll try and find some time to look at that make file and see if I can figure out what it's doing, but I may need some help with that. So yeah, I think I mentioned here this CRD install method, which already copies the CRD files from one location into another. Yep. That might be an inspiration. But so if you want, we can also like the make files are maybe a bit mess. Uh, if you create a PR, which simply copies the JSON for the examples to the Helm chart and creates the Helm chart part, then uh, yeah, I can try to look and add the, the make file part if you want as well. Okay, I'll see if I can do the uh, full solution but I haven't looked into it too much yet. And if it's as easy as I'm hoping that it is, I should be able to do it in one go, but I got to try it first. Yeah, 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 no worries. Uh, give it a try. And if the make file is, is too messy, uh, then feel free to ping me. Uh, I, I mean, the make files are a bit specific to streams, so yeah, I, it's not like I'm doubting your skills. It's more that uh, it might not be completely easy to uh, fully understand them on the on the first look. You you can doubt away. I I touch make like once a decade, so. Uh... Oh, we do as well. We put it somehow together, and then it works. <laughs> <laughs> and we pray it doesn't stop working. Yeah, that's my experience with make, yeah. Um okay. So the next issue is about support for using external service accounts. Uh, to be honest, I was not entirely eager for this. Well, we because, already got an answer from the user, right? Yeah. I. Uh, I think it's a bit messy to have somewhere just some configuration for some service account name and then reuse it, especially if we need to set up the RBAC and so on. And it's also like, yeah, and then the next time someone comes and says, oh, you do it for service account, you can do it for deployment. 
and so on. So yeah, um, I wasn't too excited by this idea. Yeah, I will just close it. Like this, does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. So this is a bug we found in the in the certificate key replacement. Uh so that's an actually bug we want to keep it and with paulo we are looking into what's the best way how to fix it uh, so i think we want to keep it yeah for sure And then the next one, so that was about adding the port, the Prometheus port to the connect services for scraping the metrics from remote Kafka cluster. In the discussion, I suggested that this would not really work that well for it because you can't really scrape the metrics from multiple pods through the cluster IP service because you don't know where does it lead you. Uh, you can use it only as a discovery. So I think we can close this. Or anyone disagrees? No, sorry, I was just uh, skimming through the the uh, the discussion. Yeah, that's fine. So yeah, yes, I would say let's close it. And the last one is uh, about in the operator hub submissions, they are the custom resource examples. And we don't use there the new operations field for the Kafka user, we use there the deprecated operation. So that's just a tracker to kind of update it there next time we do the operator hub uh, PR. So I would say we want to keep this. Or yeah.
so that should be oh I have to remove the label and I guess I can assign myself to it so that's it for the for the triage which brings us to the end of the agenda. So does anyone have any other business to raise and to discuss before we call it today? So general question, without committing you to anything or asking you to support it, if I were to stand up a new uh, Kafka 3.4 cluster and I don't care about compatibility with older Kafka, would craft be okay? Mm, not if you want to keep it for a long time. Okay. Like the the upgrade is not currently supported in Strimzy, and with the node pool proposal, which seems to be going towards being approved, uh, that's one of the that's this seventy seven proposal. Uh, there will be definitely changes to the craft implementation. Uh, among other things, to also allow the support, uh, the separate controllers from the brokers and so on. Okay. As I saw in the doc, so, that there were things that said upgrades are not going to work, and I wasn't sure if that was upgraded from older StreamZ or from current StreamZ to next StreamZ. So awesome. Thanks for the clarification. Yeah, it's so that might change in the next releases, but right now I would definitely not do it. Okay. I just like to it's sure. just, to be honest, I don't know for sure if the upgrade actually doesn't work per se, if it breaks, but also nobody really tested it, nobody really thought about it yet, and so on. So so yeah. like if it will be for some development and testing for for a short time, that should be fine, but yeah, not for something uh, for long term yet. Awesome. Thank you so much. I also wanted to make sure not to ask that at the front of the call so that the very first thing on the list was, oh, like, yeah. Yeah, no worries about it. If you want, you can check this proposal. Uh, it has, there's a link for a YouTube video, which I did of a prototype of this, which shows how it might look like in the future to run the craft clusters without Zookeeper. Awesome. Thank you so much. Anyone has anything else to discuss? I've got one thing. Um, I heard somebody mention earlier on, uh, we were talking about problems getting heat dumps out of Strimzy or Kafka in a Kubernetes environment. I thought I'd just share some useful experience we had in uh, my previous project, which also used Strimzy. And that was, it was a kind of clever combination of using named pipes and netcat. Um, to actually allow you to stream um, a heap dump out of a, out of a container back to your local system without running up against the impediment of not being able to write the file locally. Um, so I can't remember whether Netcat is in the Strimzy images or not, um, but it's certainly something I could share if there's interest. Um, share that technique. It just seems like a useful thing to um, to be aware of. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, so, Kafka heap dumps, thread dumps. It's just it's just heap dumps. They're problematic because they can be they can be yeah. larger than the available file system file system space you have available within your container. Um, yeah. So there's a, there's a technique of using, as I say. Um, Using Unix named pipes with netcat, um, you can um, you can basically take the heap dump and direct it to a named pipe, and have netcat set up to stream that back to your local host again, which allows you to not have to write the heap dump to the local file system. Um, so I, d I don't have a available resource I could share now, but it's something I could I could make available. Um, 
somehow. Yeah, I know at least a user that needs require this right now. Uh, so I think this will be something useful. Thanks, Kit. Yeah, I can I can share that with you. Uh, as Thanks. I say, I can't remember if Netcat is in the streams the images or not. Yes, we should verify that. I also don't remember exactly, but wasn't Cryostat able to do heap dumps as well? I don't know. I can't find it. I don't know either. Now quickly. So I won't add it to the agenda to not mislead anyone, but uh, yeah, that, that can do some kind of monitoring things as well. Okay, any other topics, anything else to discuss? I just checked, it seems that uh, Netcat is not in the latest streams image. Isn't it at least in the Zuki, or is it only in the Zookeeper one? Or I was no, I was checking on the Kafka image, right? Because I think Zookeeper is definitely using it for the hell for the for the liveness probe. I think mm -hmm. that's interesting. Then yeah, I think this would be something useful, definitely. If you're yeah, gonna... The problem is that when you add these things, then they bring CVEs and so on. Yeah, I know. It's, it's a trade off. Well, we have Netstat, but I don't see Netcat. You know that Netcat is NC as a command? Uh, yes, and I don't find it. Uh, sometimes SoCat is hiding around instead. Wait, wait, I was writing uh, MC instead of NC, sorry. So NC is on the image, right? <laughs> okay. So anyone, anything else? In that case, uh, thanks a lot for joining and uh, see you in two weeks. Thank you, guys. Bye. Thank you, guys. Bye. Thanks. Bye. Take care. See you, guys.